Yeah, I'm Mike Wood from Bridgeport, Pennsylvania. I'm a wood carver for 35 to 40 years and uh, still do it today. Probably do it till the day I die, actually. Well, I discovered woodworking back in, in the high school. Doing, doing shop work, where we used to make bird houses and bird feeders and stuff like that. But it was a trial and error thing because I taught myself. I never, well, it never was taught by anyone. So it was just took an interest in cutting out wood as, as I was drawing into it. And then of course I'd cut myself and one thing led to another and then I got bigger tools and I put things in vices, you know, and it progressed. My shop, that's eh, just this goofy little two-car garage, you know, when I moved back over here in Bridgeport back in 1990, I <clears throat> always wanted a, a garage or a basement to do my wood carving in, and here I ended up being in the garage because the wife didn't like all the wood chips in the basement. <laughs> <clears throat> Carving wood is like a, uh, a, it's freedom to me actually, and, a, and an expression. You can express yourself. I just love creating things. Sometimes I'll just wake up in the middle of the night and I'll dream up something, and I'll jot it down on a piece of paper or I'll draw it real fast. So then the next day, it'll be fresh on my mind what I want to do to it. I do a lot of eagles, bears, mostly animals and fish type stuff. And with most of my pieces that I do are one piece. They're not pieced together. It's, it's a matter of, well, it's preciseness is part of it, but it's a matter of, you know, you, it's like anything, you take away and you can't put it back. The chainsaw is a very dangerous tool, very dangerous. Only uh, one time that I could think of when I was using the chainsaw that I was doing something with it and I wasn't watching. And for some reason, I just let it go down a little bit and it came across my pants. But I had chaps. And what chaps do, they suck up the blade and they actually almost can stop the chainsaw blade. You're basically making something out of nothing and turning it into a dollar sign somehow. And you'll never get the money out of what you put time into. When you put your heart into something, and it might take a lot longer to do than what the price that you might put on it be worth. One finished piece for me is a, an accomplishment more than anything. And, and like you strive, you strive for the best you can do on a piece. And that's what I really put my heart into. I really love doing it. You always improve, every carving you do, you can always improve on the next piece. That's how you gotta look at it also. Cause you, only you would know your mistake. And most people would look at it and think it's fantastic. But, but you would know that there's a mistake on that thing, but most people wouldn't. Only its own, you know, and a lot of times I'm not really happy with my piece, even though some people might think it's awesome. But I look at it at another another angle, go like I could have done something else to it, and I, you know, and that's why I'll improve on my next piece. And another thing is when I'm on a piece, usually I like to finish it 100%, because once you lose interest in a piece, sometimes you don't, you can't put your heart in it no more. You know what I mean? You, you put all you can into it, and then once it's done, it's done. You know, when I'm on a piece, I like to stay on it and get it 100% done while my feeling's still there. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Eli. I am the creator of this channel, RV East Coast. And here we bring you videos related to RV life, lots of campground reviews and vacation ideas for you and your family, places to visit with your RV all around the East Coast of the United States. We are so blessed to get to know so many interesting people as we travel. And in the future, we wanna continue bringing you more videos, more stories like this one. Once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you're enjoying our channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.